morning. Busy day for me today, catching up on all the stuff that was on the bit of a back burner because of the exams yesterday. So I'm going to be quite busy. Despite the fact I woke up this morning and saw a tweet from a journalist, quite a well-known journalist, I think, unfortunately, saying that schools and teachers had let the country down this year and over lockdown and over coronavirus. I could make a video that goes on for about 30 minutes talking about how disgusting and wrong she is. Um, one thing I will say is if you honestly think that teachers have the power to shut schools, that it was because of us that the schools stayed shut so long, then maybe you should have a look at my pay slip. Because trust me, I am paid nowhere near the amount to have that amount of power. We are working so friggin' hard right now. See, I censored myself for the video. We are working so hard right now, as always. And lockdown was no different. You know, we were lucky in that we weren't fur furloughed. Granted, I do not take that for granted. Because I've seen how it's affected my friends. But we were working. And we were having to create brand new schemes of work, find new ways of teaching. And usually the people that are moaning about how lazy teachers are, teachers are, are the ones that were also moaning about how difficult homeschooling was. So imagine that with 30 people who are not your own children. 30 people per lesson. It's tricky. And I'm not looking for a medal. I'm not looking for an award. I'm not even looking for much gratitude. You know, but teachers are working hard. And especially during this current lockdown, we are working with very little protection. There's no social distancing at schools. It's impossible. There's a thousand kids in very old buildings, at least usually. So, but we won't get a round of applause on the doorstep, nor do we ask for it. But what we do ask for, just like anyone else does in their own job, is just a bit of respect. And uh, my job is to educate. So if you are one of the people that believes the government and the media who were just desperately trying to get you back to work. That's why they wanted your kids back in school. If you are uh, one of those people, I'm happy to educate you. Please get in contact and I will explain to you just how hard I worked over the over all the lockdowns and how hard I'm working now. And I lost people during the first lockdown. In fact, just on what I said a moment ago about losing someone in the first lockdown, just very quickly... If you want to know just how hard we were working and how much we sacrificed. My granddad passed away from coronavirus. On the day of his funeral, I woke up that morning. I went online and set the work for the day. I went to my granddad's funeral, of which there were only 12 people. Where I couldn't hug my nan, who was sat alone because of social distancing. We then went straight home, and as soon as I walked in the door, I was back on my computer, planning my next lessons, answering questions from students, and running a virtual lesson on the day of my granddad's funeral. So, that is how hard teachers have worked, and that is how much we've sacrificed. But... I promise I'm not saying this because I want pity or I don't want some sort of gratitude or some sort of award. I really don't. I genuinely just feel that we need to be a bit more respected. And that's what everyone wants, I think. This is hard enough without having people accusing you of things. Anyway, apart from that, on with what will be a lovely day, I'm sure. So, I have to be really quiet because I'm pretending that I don't exist, but the plumber's downstairs, so yeah. 
yeah they finally showed up so I think we still got to do some more bits with this because obviously you can see where the old fire was it's a bit minging and um, they are coming back tomorrow to grout the to grout the shower um oh Kizzy's trying to trip me up that's nice of her um oh you like it she's just seen a fly yeah get it so yeah they are coming kizzy stop trying to kill me they're coming tomorrow to regrout the tiles upstairs um i need to find some batteries for the remote stop looking at me I need to find some batteries for the remote for the fire, but we finally have a fire fitted. Our water feature is still looking pretty much the same, but yeah, it's exciting. Uh, something else that's exciting, I've just had my first delivery of Christmas presents arrive, and it's, oh, I love Christmas, I love Christmas shopping. Um, so we've had like quite a lot of births this year. So I've got a, a new niece and two new second cousins um yeah so like what do you get a, a brand new baby for christmas it, yeah so we always go for like keepsake type stuff so we've decided to get the babies like christmas baubles this year and it's just arrived and it's really cute i was a bit concerned when it came and it was like paper thin but i think that's lovely like that's really nice we got them all different ones, so I've got two more that I'm waiting for to come through the post. But they were from um, a different seller on Not On The High Street. And I got some lovely little things too. Um, but yeah, Christmas has begun. Hello. So there's been very few videos from me today. I do apologise for that. It's been quite a crazy day today. Uh, teaching, which is always crazy, um, and some other uh, issues and problems to deal with at school today, which uh, sometimes bring you back down to earth quite a bit. So I've been quite my mind's been quite focused on that. So I do apologise. Um, but yeah, it's been a it's been an interesting day. Good day, still, you know. I feel lucky to be able to be out the house and be at work when I know lots of people can't. So, and I enjoy my job, so that is a good thing. Uh, a reasonably quiet evening for me tonight. Um, I have a Zoom committee meeting for my theatre company that I'm chair of trustees of. That is in a few minutes. So that will be fun to talk about some, hopefully some ideas that we can have moving forward. And, uh, yeah. That's about it tonight, and then I'll chill out a bit and get ready for the last couple of days at work. Committee meeting over, 
the quickest committee meeting I've ever had. It was only about 30 minutes. Um, but that's the case when there's very little shows, very few shows, uh, that we're staging to discuss. But, uh, yeah, we discussed, um, our read through sessions, which we've been holding for the past few weeks where we meet on zoom or, uh, in person if we can and read through a different show each week, which has been really quite fun. Actually, we've read through some shows that we've done in the past and also that we'd love to do in the future. So we discussed our next one of that, which will be taking place next week. Um, and we also discussed some plans for Christmas and we are planning a little Christmas treat, hopefully putting together some sort of Christmas variety show, only a small, a short one, uh, all done in lockdown. We did that. We actually did a virtual variety show at the start of lockdown, which was amazing. We sort of pulled it together really quick, um, which had such a great variety of acts. So we're hoping to do like a mini version of that for Christmas. But, um, the good, I do like these meetings because even though it's sad that we can't be staging a show, we were due to do Robin Hood pantomime back in June, which obviously got postponed till God knows when. Um, even though it's sad because we have to keep talking about the fact that we can't do it yet. It is nice be- at the same time because we get to discuss fun things like that and the idea of keeping theatre and the arts alive, which is exciting. And I'm, I feel very lucky and proud and honoured to be the chair of trustees for a, a group that just is inventive and likes to come up with new ideas and just has fun, which I think often is missing in the amateur theatre world. You know, we have a group of people that I'm also call my friends, very close friends, and we just have a really good laugh with it and so much fun with it. Um, it's got all sappy and soppy all of a sudden. But um, but yeah, hopefully that makes up this long ch- talk and me getting almost emotional makes up for the lack of videos from me today. I'll try and be better tomorrow. One other thing that was exciting that happened today, uh, which came through the post, uh, was an award that one of my other youth theatre groups that I am the um, youth officer for, we won it last uh, earlier this year for a production we did last year um, for best youth musical in the London region, even though I'm not based in London, I'm about a two hours drive from London, but we're classed as the London region. We won the best youth show in the whole area. Uh, for our, for our musical production of 42nd Street. Um, so we won that earlier, um, this year in a virtual ceremony and the award and certificate came today. So that's a nice little boost. The arts feel very, make me feel very positive at the moment. So it's quite a lot later on now and I'm just about to start my crafting project and then I'm gonna edit tonight's video and go to bed. Um, so I've bought, these are all like beads, little glass beads. I've got some more pearly ones here and some wire. Everything showed up today. Um, I'm going to be making the to go with the gift tags for Christmas. So the be- first letter of everybody's name, I'm going to make that, shape it out of wire and then add beads onto it just to sort of dangle off the present to make it look fancy. Yeah, there's no real reason why to do why I'm doing this other than I've got a lot of time on my hands and I enjoy craft projects. So let's get started. <laughs> Thank you. 
So, I've just rediscovered the TV show Nikita. And I'm a little bit hooked on it. Which uh, is good. Some new lockdown viewing. And it's a good one. It's a great show. Give it a watch. So I just checked my sobriety app on my phone and I'm two years and three days clean of smoking. Party! Uh, so I have been doing these for just over an hour now and I've done two. So it's going to take me half an hour to do one and I have 30 to do. I'm going to be here a while. But should be worth it. They're not as good as I'd like them to be. But given how fiddly they are, I don't think I'm doing too bad of a job. They'll just sort of sit 